Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about one of the most important inflection points in enterprise AI we've seen so far, because at Invent 2025, AWS didn't just announce new models, faster chips, or better agents. They quietly laid out a blueprint for what an AI-native company actually looks like when humans stop being the center of execution and start becoming the supervisors of autonomous digital workers. This wasn't about demos, this was about infrastructure for an agentic future. AWS rolled out a wave of announcements, and the scale was massive. New multimodal frontier models called Nova 2, a brand new model creation system called Nova Forge, Tranium 3 Ultra servers with 3 nanometer chips, a preview of Tranium 4, a major expansion of Bedrock Agent Core, and then something much bigger than all of it, frontier agents that can work autonomously for hours or even days without human supervision. That's not a roadmap, that's a production-ready transition. At the center of AWS's model strategy is the Nova 2 family. These are proprietary frontier models running inside Amazon Bedrock, and they replace what used to be AWS's biggest weakness in the AI stack, not having a native model family that could compete head-to-head -head with OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic. Now they do. Nova 2 Lite is the fast, cost-efficient reasoning model aimed at everyday workloads. It's designed so developers can deploy reasoning at scale without burning compute. Nova 2 Pro is the heavy hitter. It's meant for complex multi-step reasoning, multi-document analysis, software tasks, and even video reasoning. What stands out here is that AWS built extended thinking directly into these models. Developers can choose between low, medium, and high thinking intensity to control the trade-off between speed, intelligence, and cost. Then there's Nova 2 Sonic, which is focused entirely on speech-to-speech -speech interaction. You talk to it, it talks back in your language, and you can switch topics without confusing the model because it handles everything asynchronously. But the most ambitious model in the lineup is Nova 2 Omni. This one handles text, images, video, and speech all inside a single model. No stitching different models together. No routing systems. One unified multimodal brain. AWS says the entire point of Omni is to cut deployment cost and reduce system complexity because companies no longer have to architect multi-model pipelines just to handle real-world data. And then AWS did something very strategic, they launched Nova Forge. Nova Forge lets enterprises build their own frontier models using AWS's Nova models as the base. These custom frontier models are called novellas, and instead of forcing companies to train from scratch, Nova Forge gives them access to pre-trained, mid-trained, and post-trained checkpoints. That means companies can inject their proprietary data at multiple stages of training instead of only at the end. And right now, Nova Forge is built on top of Nova Lite, but customers will soon gain access to Nova 2 Pro and Omni as their base models. This is AWS saying very clearly that they don't just want to sell models. They want to industrialize frontier model creation for enterprises. Now all of this intelligence needs compute, and this is where Tranium 3 enters the picture. AWS announced that Tranium 3 Ultra servers are now generally available. These are the first AWS chips built on a 3 nanometer process. Each Ultra server contains 144 Tranium 3 chips. Each Tranium 3 chip delivers 2.52 petaflops of FP8 compute, which adds up to an astonishing 362 petaflops per server. Performance is up 4.4 times over Chirn 2. Memory bandwidth is up 3.9 times. Performance per watt is up 4 times. And AWS made a very deliberate point during the keynote. Tranium is no longer just for training. It's optimized for inference too. That matters because the entire industry is shifting from training heavy workloads to inference-dominated workloads driven by agents and automation. AWS also previewed Tranium 4, which promises at least six times the processing performance and three times FP8 performance over Tranium 3. That's not a generational step, that's a leap. But models and chips were only half the story. The real shift happened inside Amazon Bedrock Agent Core. AWS added three major new capabilities. First is policy, which lets organizations define natural language rules that govern what agents are allowed to do. These policies run in the Agent Core gateway, outside the agent's own code, and they operate in near real time. That means you can block dangerous behavior before it executes instead of detecting it afterward. Second is Agent Core Evaluations. AWS built 13 evaluators 
operators out of the box that continuously score agent behavior on correctness, safety, tool selection, goal completion, and performance quality. Developers can also create their own evaluators and plug them in. Third is Agent Core Memory. This gives agents episodic memory so they remember users, past actions, and prior outcomes across sessions. Instead of resetting every time, agents now learn over time. And this brings us to the biggest announcement at Invent. Frontier Agents. AWS introduced an entirely new class of AI agents that are autonomous, scalable, and independent. You don't babysit them, you assign them a goal, they plan how to achieve it, they distribute work across sub-agents, and they keep operating for hours or even days without intervention. AWS launched three of them immediately. The Kiro Autonomous Agent is the virtual developer. It works directly across GitHub, Jira, Slack, repositories, pipelines, and pull requests. You don't feed it tiny tasks. You give it a backlog item. It triages bugs, modifies dependencies across repositories, improves test coverage, and submits real pull requests for human approval. It keeps persistent context across sessions and learns from every review and feedback loop. The Kiro Agent already handles cross-repository changes that normally require multiple developers coordinating across teams. Then there's the AWS Security Agent. This one embeds security across the entire software lifecycle. It reviews design documents, scans pull requests against your organization's specific security policies, and actively runs penetration testing on demand. It generates validated findings with remediation code. SmugMug deployed the Security Agent and reported penetration tests that once took days now finish in hours, catching business logic vulnerabilities that traditional tools never detected. And then there's the AWS DevOps agent. This one is always on call. It learns your entire application graph, observes telemetry across tools like CloudWatch, Datadog, New Relic, Dynatrace, Splunk, and correlates that data with code, deployments, and runbooks to identify root causes. Inside AWS, this agent has already handled thousands of escalations with an estimated root cause identification rate above 86 percent. At Commonwealth Bank of Australia, the DevOps agent diagnosed a deeply complex identity and networking issue in under 15 minutes. A seasoned human engineer would normally need hours. And AWS was very clear about one thing. These agents don't push changes blindly. Humans remain the gatekeepers. Kiro submits pull requests. The security agent returns validated findings. The DevOps agent generates mitigation plans for approval. This is autonomous execution under human governance. That theme extends into AWS AI factories. AWS announced that it will now ship racks of its hardware directly into customer data centers to run full private AI factories. These include NVIDIA GPUs, Trainium accelerators, networking, storage, databases, security, bedrock, and SageMaker. AWS will manage the entire environment. This is designed for governments, banks, and regulated industries that legally cannot move sensitive data into public cloud but still need frontier AI at scale. You're not renting compute anymore, you're turning your own data center into a mini AWS region. Through all of this, what AWS made clear is that they're no longer just a cloud provider or even an AI infrastructure provider, they're positioning themselves as the operating system for autonomous enterprises. Models through Nova, custom model creation creation through Nova Forge, chips through Trainium, agent governance through Agent Core, execution through Frontier Agents, private deployment through AI factories. And this entire stack is built around one core assumption, work is about to shift from human execution to agent execution at scale. AWS CEO Matt Garman said it directly during the keynote, AI agents are an inflection point. In the future, he believes companies will have millions of agents working across every domain not helping, working. What AWS showed at Invent wasn't a flashy product demo, it was the industrialization of autonomy, the tools, the governance, the compute, the memory systems, the safety layers, the operating model, all of it is being assembled now, in production, not research. And if this stack works the way AWS believes it will, then the next decade of enterprise software won't be built around dashboards and workflows, it will be built around digital teams that never sleep. That's the real story coming out of AWS Invent 2025. If you enjoyed this video, then do like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for similar updates. Thanks for watching, this is AI Tides, and I'll see you in the next one.